I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to level with you because that's what we do here on my channel. Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. In today's video, I'm sharing seven shoe essentials that will never let you down. Now, these shoe essentials will carry you across a multitude of situations, occasions. They are versatile. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. And these shoe essentials are perfect for if you're looking to have less pieces in your wardrobe, but get more out of them. I'd like to throw in a little disclaimer. I'm not telling you guys to go out and buy all of these. I'm not saying you have to have these. If you are currently trying to build up your wardrobe or maybe just fill in some gaps and figure out what pieces you might be missing or what things you might want or need. Today's video will definitely help you out. Work with your lifestyle, your budget, what you want to do with building your wardrobe. The shoes I'm sharing in today's video are all shoes that I've picked up over the last couple years of deciding to really curate and create a good quality wardrobe for myself. So they're not things that I just bought all at once. They are things that I acquired over like three years. So definitely don't feel like you have to go buy them all. You can if you want. If you're rich AF, live it up for the rest of us because you know, most of us are balling on a budget. So I just wanted to tell you guys that. And if you guys are not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to join the family. And with that, let's hop right on in. A nude flat is a versatile, classy shoe that goes with a myriad of different outfits. A nude flat can easily dress up a basic outfit, but not to the point where it looks dressy. It keeps it casual, but elevated. I personally offer a pointed toe flat, one, because I just, I think they're cute, I really like them for myself, and two, a pointed toe typically gives you the illusion of elongated legs, which is great for me because it adds that little bit of height that I can always use. There's not too much explanation of the justification of this choice. A pair of white sneakers will promise to carry you through any and all casual situations, all whilst providing style and comfort. They are a great option to have to throw onto any outfit without having to think or worry about styling. You know, sometimes you just wanna get dressed really quick. You don't wanna have to think about trying to put together an outfit. Toss on a pair of white sneakers to whatever you put together and you are set to go. A pair of Chelsea booties will add a touch of cool to an outfit. They're a stylish upgrade from sneakers that are timeless and they are wearable for years. I wear the heck out of my Chelsea booties. I've brought them on pretty much every trip I've gone on. I wear them at least like once to twice a week. They're just so stylish and chic. And when we had this whole rain debacle for the last month here in Southern California, I wore them all the time because for my Chelsea booties, I invested into a higher quality pair that are actually waterproof. So I wore them out in the rain, had nice dry feet and it was great. Another great pair of flats to have in your arsenal is a pair of slides or loafers. It kind of depends on what you call them, but they, they look like this. I'm sure you guys have seen them. A pair of slides is another classy and chic option. Throwing on a pair of these will elevate the look of any outfit and instantly make you look more stylish and expensive. I can verify this myself. I have a pair that have gotten mistaken for Gucci slides, which they are definitely not. They're like $25 knockoffs. While they were in their prime, now they're a little bit more beat up. I wore them to the beach once and they got a little tarnished, so would not recommend doing that. That day, I just, I did not plan well, but having a pair of these in rotation is a great stylish choice. I feel like most people in videos like these would recommend having both a black pump and a nude heel. For me, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna level with you because that's what we do here on my channel. I'm straightforward, I'm transparent, and I'm not trying to just make this video longer or add stuff to the list for the sake of doing it. Because we are all out here balling on a budget, I am not going to tell you guys that you have to have both. You can if you want, but I'm just gonna share my own experience and you guys can develop your own opinions from that. So I have a pair of nude heels and a pair of black pumps. I've worn my black heels once, but I've worn my nude heels a plethora of times. I've worn them so, so many times with so many different outfits. For me, my body, and my personal style, I just like them better. I just find them to be more flattering for me, and I just like the look of nude heels better on myself than black heels. If you were just wanting to invest into one neutral colored heel, go shopping and try a bunch out in both colors. Find out what you like best and be realistic with what you'd wear more often. Now, if you're rich or just would wear both, you go out there and you get both, girl. A pair of combat boots is a great thing to throw on to add a little bad to any outfit. Doc Martens have skyrocketed in popularity the last couple years. So many people have them and wear them and they look so great on. Like Doc Martens are a great example of combat boots looking fabulous with an outfit. Combat boots can just be styled in such fun different ways and they're a style that look great contrasted with completely opposing pieces. Combat boots are just cool. 
And today's final shoe essential is a pair of statement shoes. The actual type of shoe is totally up to you. I have a couple pair of statement shoes just because I love them so much. I think they're just, they're just like a fun thing to have in your wardrobe to mix it up and you know, go outside of the box a little bit, take a step from neutrals and basics and have some fun. Having a fun statement shoe is awesome for when you just wanna add a little pop of something to spice up an outfit. Pick a statement shoe that you love, is wearable with your wardrobe and expresses your personal style. It can be a statement in color, print, height, opposing to your usual style, etc. Just have fun with it. That is a wrap on today's video. I really hope you guys liked it. And I hope if you guys have been trying to build up your wardrobe, or like I said, trying to fill in some gaps or just, you know, figure out where, what you wanna do with your wardrobe or what pieces you're missing or whatever it might be. I hope this video was helpful. Also, I wanna know what your shoe essentials are. Leave them in the comment section. I always think it's super interesting just to know what other people consider essentials. If you guys have any style video requests, let me know in the comment section down below. I am always looking for new video ideas. And I feel like recently I've been a little stuck on what to make next. I've been trying to find a good balance of making what you guys wanna see and making what I want to make. And I just wanna make sure there's a good balance. So if you guys have any videos that you would love to see, let me know in the comment section down below. I am always scoping through the comments. Today's quote of the day is quite inspiring and one that I think we all should live by. The quote says, if you're too comfortable, it's time to move on. Terrified of what's next, you're on the right track. I quite like that quote. I think it's really good and definitely one that makes you think a little bit. So think on that as we go into the week. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I love you guys lots and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And you can laugh now, but I'm getting the last. Like it's sold out. They asking me, can I roll out? Bro, I'm sure for real, she can even vouch That went over heads like a projector Man, why you falling apart like Victor? Yes, sir, my texture is a shade of blue But I ain't dragging in the end, soon ready to